Welcome back to Switch to Linux. A little bit different setup here. Uh, we are actually on the Ubuntu computer. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at the top five great things about the Ubuntu with the new, uh, uh, the new GNOME build. Now, just like I did the Debian, I'm going to do another one of these of the things I hate about it because overwhelmingly, I do not like this new system. Okay, but let's go ahead and talk about what is good because it's not all garbage and we don't need to just throw it all away. Uh, the first thing that I really like about this is the very clean desktop. Um, so what I mean by that is, you know, apart from what I'm usually used to with more taskbars and things, uh, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it has just about as many, but it does seem like you do have a little bit more space. So if you open up a web browser, you know, it's pretty big. Um, and I'm not getting, you know, I don't have the bar on the bottom. Of course, I do have it on the top, so it's arguably probably not any different. But it does have the appearance, the feeling of being a little bit, um, a little bit bigger. I don't think it really is, uh, but I think that you have that, uh, that feel for it. Um, you do have this clean desktop, so it is, it is decent in that respect. Um, so number two is it does feel like it is a complete OS. And I always bring this up when I'm looking at distros, how well does a distro do? Because, um, you want to make sure, at least I want to make sure, and different people have different opinions, but I want to make sure that there's enough things that it feels like it's a complete desktop. So I have... Uh, I have disks, I have disk usages, archive utilities. I have a lot of specific tools uh, to help me in my computing experience. And Kitty would like to come up and say hi. Hello, peoples. Use Unity. It... Wow, well, wait, hold on. This isn't Unity. Unity was better than this. Do <laughs> you want to tell people to use Ubuntu, though? Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Use Ubuntu. I forgot what I was looking at. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's not a kitty problem. That's a stupid user problem. That's me. The kitty's smarter than me, I think. Right? You smart? All right. Yeah, kitty's smarter than me. Anyway, um, we have a lot of tools, a lot of system utilities now. Mind you, this is not one of my one of my uh, quick um, quick reviews or or quick looks. This is I've actually been using this computer for a while to do to do a variety of different things, and so I've installed a lot of extra software. But had I not installed extra software, there would still would be quite a bit of software on here that gives us uh, a complete feel. It has a lot of utilities and things like that. So you do have that ability. Um, of course, the terminal, oops, if I push the right, oh, right hot key, you do get the terminal comes up quite nice and easy with the hot keys, easy to work with. And I like the Ubuntu terminal, just uh, the look of the appearance. That's actually why I've traditionally used an Ubuntu build when I've been doing AWS servers where I have to SSH into servers a lot. I tend to like this build more than I like uh, the Mint layout uh, for doing that type of work. Um, and then number three is the general stability. Now I have had one issue every single time I turn on the computer and that actually has to deal with caffeine. I had to install caffeine so that uh, the screen wouldn't go to sleep because that's one of the things I'll talk about on the bad parts. Uh, if I remember, is that even playing YouTube videos on Chromium, the screen would fall apart. So I'd have to come over and touch the touch the the screen every once in a while. There's no way to turn off all of the you know turning off the screen. In fact, I thought there were. I adjusted some settings I thought might do that, but the screen still still would turn off after a while. So I installed Caffeine. Now Caffeine works. Kitty, that's my notes. You can't take my notes off the desktop. Um, the Caffeine. Uh, works so now that this is on the desktop never goes to sleep but the problem is the caffeine indicator seems to throw an error and all as many times as I tried to report the error um, it always fails to report so caffeine turns on when I turn on the computer uh, the caffeine indicator does not so I cannot turn off caffeine um, so um, that is the only stability issue I've had. I've not had any other stability issues crop up in the time that I've been using it. I've not really encountered any other bugs. So I'd say that overall, um, I added caffeine. That seems to not be really compatible. I also, if you watched when I built this, which was on a live stream, I actually broke the, uh, the, um, uh, the Unity-like bar. 
um, by installing, uh, I think it was dash to dock, I think, completely breaks your bar. Um, and there was no way to get it back. Uh, what I ended up doing is just creating a new user and that, that tended to, to fix it. Um, so other than those two points of stability, I have noted that the system does have good stability. Uh, the third is the software availability. There, uh, this is Ubuntu. And so what you have to say about Ubuntu is there is always a lot of software. Of course, now we have the GNOME software store. A little bit different. I don't like this one nearly as much as I liked the other ones in the past. But uh, we, do have, uh, we do have search functionality. We can search by categories. There's a lot of software. Some people might say, huh, eh, we have, might have too much. Um, software and some abandoned software packages. I really don't know if the abandoned wear has been necessarily been removed. And let's look at some people say Banshee is essentially abandoned. I don't, I disagree. Um, but yeah, Banshee's still there. It's still my preferred, uh, my preferred play. The cat keeps reaching down here and grabbing my notes off the table, pulling them off. You want to give us the last one? Sure. There is a lot of community support for Ubuntu. <laughs> That's right. That is my fifth point is that uh, Ubuntu always has had and still does have a great community support. Whether you're on OMG Ubuntu or whether you're just on the Ubuntu forums, not only can you solve nearly every problem you look into, uh, but you generally get it solved very courteously. Um, unlike some other distros where the community can be kind of jerky at times, like, you know, you don't know how to do that. What are you, a noob? No, they help you actually help you solve problems. And so while a lot of it true is going back several years, sometimes five or seven years old, some of the posts, many of them do still apply. And uh, so I want to say that the number five item about this new Unity uh, or new uh, Ubuntu with, uh, with the GNOME desktop is that uh, the community support is still good. And so and with that respect, would I recommend this? Um, I'm still going to point people towards Ubuntu Mate if they want to run Ubuntu at all. Um, I am not a huge fan of this. Part of that is the bias that I really don't like the GNOME desktop, at least not on a traditional computer. I've heard it's awesome for touchscreens. I'd love to get another touchscreen computer and play with it um, over there. I want to see if that's true or not. I imagine if I did this with a dock, it might be really good. Um, but as far as a traditional sit down at computer, I really don't like GNOME. Um, I see my camera seems to have crashed as well. Hopefully nothing else has crashed. Um, I'm not sure how long that has been crashed, but we'll see. Yeah, I died a while ago. Oh boy, more things to talk negatively about. Maybe there's not as nearly as much stability as I thought. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure how long I've been frozen. Hopefully this video works out, but uh, if not, eh, oh well. We'll be back next week with the things I hate about it. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, Tom at Switch to Linux. Uh, if you would like to help support what we're doing, check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support. As of right now, we have Patreon, we have direct PayPal, and we have Amazon links down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.